Welcome back to my Stephy Fishing. Today, we're going off my little fishing topic I usually do in the mystery tackle box openings and stuff like that. Today, we're actually going to be taste testing a MRE. Now, if you all know what an MRE is, it's a meal ready to eat, this MRE. But this is what the military uses in deployment of when they're out in the field. Now, this is an actual US MRE. It has the stamp of the Department of Defense on there. And uh, these are hard to get, they're very expensive. But I got it for free because my uncle is the plug and was able to get this to me and now this is the menu 15 which is Mexican style chicken stew now I'm not sure if I had this before I've had a couple before I'm not sure if this is like the one and um I pretty opened like the packages so I can get right into it so as I just said let's get right into it now these are really high in calories and a lot of snacks and stuff in it um as I said they did come out with whole new menus and they did switch up a lot of things in here. So if I did have this before, then they definitely changed a couple of things in it. So um, that's really that for the menus. But this is also new packaging. The ones I got before didn't have this seal around. It was like all crambled in there. Well, not crambled, but in there neatly and like certain things are in certain stuff. So let's get right into this because I'm very excited. So let's get this this is the main course the Mexican style chicken stew now let's see what the ingredients are it's chicken water tomato corn I knew that I knew there's gonna be corn green chilies I knew that too chicken broth onions some flavor let's say flavor it's like garlic and stuff like that probably let's put that to the side because once I get this all laid out I'll start cooking it in the little pack you get in here but um ooh, this is new I've never had this before and any of them are used I've eaten before mango peach applesauce now um it sounds very delicious in my head mango and peach together that you already know that's gonna be delicious so this is uh feels pretty liquidy I know applesauce is liquidy but not like there's still like a little bit of thickness this is this feels like straight liquid but we'll get to that once we start eating Cheese filled pretzels. I've had this before. Now you think they're just like pretzels with like cheese coating, maybe, but they're actually combos. And they don't put combos in there. It's just it's combos, so it's just regular original combos in there. Um, serving size one package it's made 240 calories in this thing alone, and then the uh, mango apple sauce, mango peach apple sauce. Let's see, it's only 110 calories, so this is healthier than the pretzels, which is oddly weird. And um, the chicken stew, I can imagine, is very high in calories. Uh, let's see, 230. These pretzels are more than the the entree itself. Uh, that, that's a little scary. And um, this will save for the ending part, because that's like the little accessory packets. We got M&M's. But these are some peanut M&M's. Um, best before 01 2016. Um, it's September 2018. So you see how long they last. It is the MREs last. That's, that's how you can tell how um, amazing it is. Oh, we got some peanut butter. And I can see the crackers it's supposed to go with. Uh, peanut butter is like really thick in these. I like that. I like thick peanut butter like that. And as I said, we have vegetable crackers. Um, I've had the vegetable crackers before. That's so where you put the peanut butter and you just spread it. That's what you usually do. And um, a couple, one or two more things. Oh, chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage. So uh, hot cocoa. And I will make this at that. And that's, that's probably going to be the dessert. 
And um, I lay out everything as it goes. And we got our spoon, as the one guy I watched, um, he always tests the spoon. Pretty quality. And we got some ground red pepper, just to spice up the Mexican style chicken stew more. Or if you wanna spice up your applesauce. Not sure if you're into that, I'm not, but hey, you do you. And the ending part right here, and we have the accessory packet. This is the heater that you put your entree in, you put a little bit of water in there, and then you like tilt it up like in a certain way, and then you put it on like a slant. Fill two lines, do not overfill. Hold on top of MRE. Put it in. Put in the this thing that goes in this. Like a little hot pocket deal. And you lay it out. I already have something to lay it out. And that's really cool. Vapors released by activated heater contains hydrogen, a flammable gas. Do not place on an open flame in the vapor. Vapors released by activated heater. It's just, it's just saying what it is. Alrighty. Um, actually, the ones I used before, like it kind of smells like a little bit of garlic when it does that. Which is um, a little weird to me. Let's get to the accessory pack. I don't see anything crazy like the Tabasco or stuff that they sometimes send in there. It's a sharp knife. That's a new knife for me. That's, that's sharp. So, oh man. So we got some lemonade. I was hoping for like the fruit punch that they just came out with. They came out with like a mixed berry one. And that's, I um, heard really tasty. Uh, it's a toilet paper or towel whatever you want to use for it I would suggest toilet paper if you're out there and you don't have any and then we have the salt we got salt iodized salt and we got the moist towelette and the gum and, uh, I think this is regular mint I think the red ones are cinnamon well, let's get right into this I'm gonna cut really quickly to go get the water and stuff and I'll be right back. All right, I just went and got the water that I needed in the cup that I'm gonna use for the lemonade. But let's get this cooking because it takes like 12 minutes, I think, to cook. And during that, I'm not gonna film all 12 minutes. I'm gonna film a certain amount of time. I try a couple of snacks and things. And then while this is cooking, all right, I gotta make sure I measure, not overfill. I think I overfilled a little bit. There we go. Perfect. I think so. Alright. Oh. I'll put on a slant. I usually get it around so it starts to heat up a little bit. Alright. So let's put this in there. Get the Mexican style stew. In there. Um, usually with the... I think I did try this before. And I know... The Mexican style stew is supposed to, it, last time had tortillas. This is if I remember correctly. Oh, I hear it heating up. All right, yeah, it's starting to get a little hot. Oh, 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 it's steaming, it's steaming. Uh -oh. Get in there quick. Uh oh, it's blowing up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oh, I'm gonna put on a slant over there. Ooh, ooh, that's that's hot. That, that's that's getting a little hot. Whew. Uh, that's that's not that's not cold water. That's more water. I got the cold water over here. All right. Uh, we'll save the drink for when I start everything. But let's get right into some of the snacks, which I'm gonna do the peanut butter, vegetable crackers, and the cheddar filled pretzels. And then for dessert, I'm gonna have the M Ms, the hot cocoa, and the mango peach applesauce. So I'm gonna save that for dessert. Alrighty. So let's start off with let's start off with the crackers and the peanut butter, which is what you'd usually start off with. Ah. Uh, they they smell bland, but they do have a taste to them. And uh, the wind's kicking up a little bit at the moment, so I gotta try to talk a little bit better. But I am a little sick, I think. So 
my kind of nose and I sound I might sound weird because to me I sound weird but to you I might not sound weird so here's the crackers it's usually like a it's a four by or it's a two by two as I would usually say so you're really four crackers if you crack in half but let's crack one and let's try the peanut butter which is delicious I know that already mm. oh yeah look at that ah Mmm. Say one of those peanut butters, you just start licking your lips. Like a dog. That's what, that's what it makes it feel like. You squeeze that onto a cracker. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Now, I would prefer the regular crackers over the vegetable with the peanut butter because mm. the vegetable crackers are probably taste better with the cheese spread that they have I'm going to take a little drink from the water I got my peanut butter gets to you mm. that's really good peanut butter is nice and thick and it actually tastes better than the peanut butter that like I would usually eat from like like the top brands and stuff. I don't know what kind of peanut butter what brand they use, but mm. I ain't even a big fan of peanut butter either. I don't like peanut butter that much, but this peanut butter it's top notch. I'm going in for a second cracker. Let's get into the cheese filled pretzels. Aka combos. This is what I like to call them. I'm not sure. If people, it's raining. It's raining. I'm not sure if people just call them cheese filled pretzels, but I, I just usually name them by the brand combos. And you can probably tell they're going to be good. That's some thick peanut butter. That, that, that gets you. I know some rations give you like PB and J with bread. It's really cool. What are they doing with crackers? All right. No, let's see. There's a couple of them here. There's a decent amount of them. That's just like combos. Delicious, cheesy. A little wish there the pizza ones a little bit. That's good. That's good. You can never just like a combo. It's all amazing. Like, you can't ever go wrong with a combo. And peanut butter, too. Mmm. Mmm. I might, I'm, I might mess up a little bit with that. Combo and peanut butter with the cheese don't go together. Maybe the combos, if there's peanut butter combos, I think that would be amazing. But, never do what I just did, please don't. I didn't taste so right in my head. So I just finished the, the, the combos and the peanut butter and the crackers. But while the entree still cooking, I just want to talk about something really quickly. Um, if you're wondering where the videos have been like the last two or three weeks, two, two or three weeks I think. I think it's two, I'm not sure. But school has started in Florida. And um, it's kind of hard because, like, I'll go to school. I get up at 5.30 in the morning. And then I get home around, like, 3 and I'm just tired. School wipes me out. But it's also dead season while fishing. It doesn't really kick back up for us till like, a month or two from now. And, um... Just every day I've been trying to get a couple of things done that I can't really get done with school going on. Like um I, I do play Xbox, I am a kid. I have a couple of things I like to do on there that I don't really get to do that much. And I think the fishing and I don't really necessarily enjoy doing like the big unboxings and stuff like that. So it kinda goes both ways. I know some people are like, Oh well, 
YouTube's better than the Xbox and like the other things, but you're pro you're right. That 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 the YouTube the channel is more important than Xbox. But also talking about Xbox, I am gonna be starting a Twitch. And if you do wanna keep up with that, um make sure you go to my Instagram and follow my Instagram and just keep looking at posts. I'll probably make a Twitch post where I'll have the pic the picture of a Twitch and the channel and stuff. And uh, it'll be really nice if whoever watches me, if you like seeing people play video games, uh, I ain't the best at certain ones. But if you want to sit there and watch me play games, then that's all you. I just, if one person gets me happy if they're watching, honestly. If one person comes to join, it's amazing to me. And um, if you're wondering what kind of games there would be, um... I, I do follow a little trends. I do play Fortnite. A lot of people don't like it. I, I ain't the biggest fan of it, but I do play it. I, I don't like the premises of the game, but I do play Fortnite. I also play PUBG, which I do like PUBG a little bit more. I play both those games. I do also play Call of Duty World War II. I also play um a game that not a lot of my friends like to play, but um it's called Ark Survival Evolved. And it, it's a game about dinosaurs and stuff. So once that starts up, I'll make sure I inform you guys. Well, we're back, and um, I'm not sure, but I think the food is done. Which any other way, it's it's not gonna get hot. It, it's gonna be something that's warm. That's how they always turn out to be. But um, I, oh, the smell that the water and stuff gives off, I don't like. It's probably the, whatever the thing is in there, the vapors and gas or hydrogen, whatever it is. I don't like the smell. But let's get this out of the package. Not that hot. Um, a little hot. Let's mix it around a little bit. What do you expect here? You're cooking something in a pouch. Ha! Huh, that part was a little hot. Let's pop this out. I think they made it so these start to be bowls, possibly. I don't know. Oh. That's how that's supposed to be used. And, uh, that's smart, maybe. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be used, but, um, we have a hot pocket kind of style. I don't know, but. That's how I'm going to be using it, okay? Ooh. Oh, you. Ooh, that don't smell bad. Looks like a pasta sauce, but it's not. And I got to clean my uh, knife off after this. That's... That uh, moist towelette for the towelette will do there. Ooh, just smells like... um. I was like chicken stew. I've, I've, I've had dinners that's Mexican style chicken stew before. So let's get right into that in one second. Let's get the drink made before I dig my spoon into the other thing. Probably asking why don't I just make him a big bottle? I'd rather honestly have an animation jar. Beverage based lemonade. I'm like, uh, the lemonade just tastes like lemonade. I know that. You can't really change lemonade, but there's some. There's a fruit punch one. There's a raspberry one. This isn't coming out fast enough. Come on, come on. Very yellow. This lemonade usually looks. The camera's probably shaking. very citrusy. Not really. Take a quick little drink of this. Yeah, lemonade. Wonderful. Now, we have our chicken style, Mexican style chicken stew. I can see the corn. I can see the chicken. 
Uh, let's throw need some salt in there. Just sprinkle that in. Oh, that's too much. They do, they do give you a lot of salt. I don't know why, but I can probably understand why at the end of this. Uh, maybe a little bit of that red pepper. Throw a little bit of that on. Oh, Jesus. That's, that's not red pepper flakes. It's like actual, like, crushed red pepper. Like, seasoning in that. Oh, man, that is spicy. Yeah, not too much of that. Ooh. Let's mix that around. Mmm. Some chunks. Some decent chunks in there. Look at that. That's how your food should be. Alright. Well, the snacks were good so far. And the drink's very tasty. So, let's get right into this. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. It's actually hot too. A little spicy. <coughs> so, chicken's a little chewy. Well, what do you expect? The thing's sitting in a package. Mmm. It's got some good taste. Good spice. And you know what? <coughs> I'd rather, thank you, thank you very loud car. Honestly, this is better than the lunch they serve at school. It's more heated, um, more flavorful. Mm. It's actually very good. And it's surprising me how good it is. No. I can see this affecting you in the bathroom wise when you're out deployed. So I can tell I'm gonna have problems later. Um I don't think this could do at that point. I have to throw all this these soup the soup I'm drinking or stew I'm we'll eating. I do need a drink. Mmm. They give you a pretty big portion too. It's a lot of food. That is refreshing. I can see being out there drinking nice lemonade. I'm not sure if it'll be ice cold at that point, but something. But if you do want to see these reviews in the future, because I do have a couple more of these, make sure <laughs> you comment it in the comments if you want to see these. I do want to try ones from different places. Like, um, I heard Russian ones are pretty good. Um, it's pretty good to sell. So, um, U.S. military, I ain't bad. It's good. Um, <clears throat> we're going to cut real quick. <coughs> and then we'll start on, uh, dessert. <sighs> Just got done, uh, eating that chicken stew. Mexican style chicken stew and it uh, pretty filled me up it filled me up a lot but now on to dessert I just brewed some uh, hot water for my chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage you're supposed to put it in the bag and you're trying to burn my hand and you see they probably just pump regular water in and maybe they boil it Oh no, but it's a little Ziploc bags, and you're supposed to put it in there. But I usually do that for the dairy shake. I put it in there, but for the hot cocoa, I just... I'm home. Might as well just use a mug. So, mmm. That's a nice chocolate smell. And, uh... Hot cocoa is in there. Spin that around. Camera's probably shaking a little bit. Oh yeah, that tastes good. I like the the hazelnut in it. 
Mm. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, it is very hot outside. I am drinking hot chocolate, so it's correct. Um, we'll save this for after. We'll save our this side. Uh, let's try this mango peach apple sauce. Now, ooh. Squirted out when I opened it. Now, it looks to be. Actually, I can show you. It looks to be a certain color. I wonder if it just looks like normal applesauce color. Yeah, looks like normal applesauce color. Looks what it looks like. I'm sure BSC, I'm not trying to spill it. But, smells like applesauce. Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. That. That's banging right there. But let's get let's get into the last thing, or well, second to last food wise. Let's get into the M Ms. We have peanut M Ms. Wonderful. Oh. Oh. It's like a surprise. It's what M M&M Ms tastes like. You never had M M&M. It's a little crunch. When you bite into the shell. And it's soft chocolate inside, but these are the peanut butter ones, so they get a little bit of peanut. Really good. I think for an MRE, it's something you eat when you're out in the military. It's really good. Let's wash off a little bit with a moist towelette. <clears throat> really moist towelette. It's, it's a wet one. Let's wash your hands. You know, get some of the face a little bit. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't really smell like anything. It smells like a little bit of soap. That's good. I have these towelettes you leave left over for later. For later use. And then you got the gum. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Mint. Woo! You bite the mint, the mint bites back. Ooh. Yes. It's a strong mint flavor. That's really it for today, guys. I hope you um enjoyed the little MRE review. If you want to see more of them, comment in the comments and tell me if you want to see more. So I do have a couple more. And make sure you like, comment, and very specially subscribe because at 200 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. And if you don't know what the giveaway is, I did announce it in my last video. I'm giving away a bait ball spinner great from, I think it's Live Target. Uh, really quality lure. Uh, it works. And hopefully you catch some big fish with it. And that's really it. Till next time, fish on.